Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create keyboard zone splits in Reaper. Now, the idea of keyboard zone splits is that we get different sections of our keyboard playing different instruments or sounds. Now, a lot of VST instruments will have presets already set up that you can use, but with this technique, we could use any presets that we want and use multiple instruments to achieve it. So let's start off with a piano sound. I have a track here. I have my input set to all MIDI inputs, all channels. Let's add a piano VST instrument to the track. I'll go to my instruments right here. Let's scroll down to piano one, which is a free version of a pretty good piano sound. Let's see what it sounds like. Now, if I want to play bass with my left hand, I might want to use a bass guitar instead of a piano. So let's add a bass track on top of this. Make a new track down here, set up my input, all MIDI, all channels, and let's add a bass sound to this track. I'll choose Contact 5, which is their free version, and let's choose Bass and Funk Bass right here. And that creates this. Let's go into Record. Let's take our piano out of record. And we have a bass guitar. Now, if we want to play both at the same time, we put them both in record. But the problem is the bass doesn't sound good up high. And the piano, we don't really need on the low notes. We just want the bass. So we could split this by zones. And the way to do that is using a MIDI plugin. Now we could put this plugin before our instruments, but a better place to put it is on our input effects. This way it gets recorded onto the track that way. So let's start off with our bass. Let's take the piano out of record, go to our input effects on the bass, and let's search MIDI. And down over here, is a plugin called MIDI Note Filter. And from here, we could choose the lowest key and the highest key that can be passed through this plugin. All other notes will be ignored. So for our bass, let's bring it down to 48, which should be a C. So we have that octave to work with, but if we go any higher, our bass doesn't play because we narrowed it down or filtered it right here. It's going to play from 21 to 48. Now, if you're not sure what number you need to use, you could check out a chart like this to figure out what number goes with which keys. So now we'll do the opposite thing for our piano. Let's go to our piano track, take the bass out of record, and add that plugin to our piano. The MIDI note filter, and we'll do the opposite. We'll start with the lowest key and bring it up to 49. If we choose 48, the C key is going to overlap. So by choosing 49, the piano is going to start on that C sharp. Right there. But if I go down to the C or any lower, I don't hear the piano. It starts up there, and then it goes all the way up. Now we can put the bass back into record, and we should hear both. The piano takes over in that second octave. So now I can play pieces with bass on my left hand and piano on my right hand. So now I can record this as a performance. Let's close all this. It's going to put our piano on this track and our bass on this track. So let's record some.
And just like that, we have two separate instruments that were played with one performance. Here's our bass and our piano. And together, we can create two parts at the same time by splitting the zones on our keyboard. And we could do this with anything. We could add strings up higher or glockenspiel, or even have the sounds overlap. And if you want to edit this, you just double click the MIDI item. And here's our piano. And here's our bass. And if you want to see them in the same window, we can just change this preference. If we go down to editing behavior and MIDI editor, we could change this option here, one MIDI editor per to project. And then we could choose the both of them at the same time, double click them, and they both show up in the same window. So even though they're on two different tracks, playing two different instruments, we can still edit them in the same window. So that's pretty much it. That's creating keyboard zone splits in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.